Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you to forgive us of the sins we've done. Holy Spirit, we ask you to pour out wisdom and knowledge into us. Uh, Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it. Father God, we thank you for this word. We ask you to help us apply it to our life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So the key verse today is Luke 8, 16 through 17. No one lights a lamp and then covers it with a bowl or hides it under a bed. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. For all that is secret will eventually be brought into the open and everything that is concealed will be brought to the light and made known to all. Subjects shining so bright. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm living the truth. I am wise, I am obedient, I am kind. We can think we are getting away with anything. It's easy to think that when, when, when whatever we do behind closed doors is our business. And no one would know unless we say something about it. Otherwise, what we do in our own place, in our own time, is our own business, right? Sometimes those are the worst things. Our sins are the ones we hide from others, thinking we are getting away with something. But to be honest, completely honest with you, nothing's done without the Lord seeing it and knowing it. The verse tells us that every secret will be brought into the open. and Everything that's hidden will be brought to the light for everyone to know. Second Kings 5 and 20, Gaza, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said to himself, my master was too easy on naming the Amerian by accepting but not accepting for him what he brought. As surely as the Lord lives, I will run after him and get something from him. He thought he was getting away with getting the gifts that Elisha refused. He thought no one would surely know what I have done. I will get ahead by doing this. And that's what everyone thinks. They're getting ahead by doing stuff secretly. But really and truly, it puts us behind everyone when we do things that aren't of God. And we do it intending to get ahead. Verse 24. When Gaza come to the hill, he took the things of the servant and put them away in the house. He sent the men away and they left. See right here it says he put them away. No matter how far and how much we cover the, the things we do up, <clears throat> God will see it. We can think we are fooling man, but we would never fool God. Being honest is always the best way to handle anything with God. We must be people do, who do not hide anything from God. God knows our true intention and how we will handle things that come our way. There's no reason to lie to God. We need to be honest and forthcoming to God so he can help us to remove the dishonest ways that are in our lives. Matthew 10, 26. So fear no so have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will be revealed and hidden that will be known it tells us again that anything that's covered will be revealed it might not happen immediately but it will happen and when it does all we can do is let it happen except that living in truth and honesty is always the best policy no we don't have to tell everyone what we're doing or what's going on we don't have to tell them what's going on in our life but our life behind closed doors needs to be just as clean as our life publicly because what we do be it good or bad behind closed doors will be revealed it will be committed it will if we are committed to a life of honesty our life will show it if we dedicate it to a life of chaos and mischief behind closed doors it will eventually be revealed second corinthians 8 and 21 for we aim at what is honorable not what in the lord's sight not only in the lord's sight but also in the sight of man the word tells us here we should aim to be honorable to live honorably with god and with men, we shouldn't live any way in front of others than one way in front of God. We must live this kind of life all the way around because that is what it means to live in the light. We can live in the light sometime and then in the darkness the other half. We have free will. But my, but no, my friends, we can't do that. If we say we are children of God, God wants people that are living in the light at all times. And if God takes a magnifying glass and examines our life, what will he see? Is it is it a life full of light or full of chaos? What will he see? A life that is full of honor sometime and chaos the next? Or will he see the light that we are walking in at all times?
Ecclesiastes 12, 14, for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. When God judges, he isn't going to judge us on the things only some people see, but he will judge us on everything. And that's what's going to determine where we will go. Of course, our heart will say we are living for God. But are our actions saying that? No. We have to ask God to help us to do away with the secret sins we, we try to cover up. We have to try to ask God to help our hearts to match our actions and he will do that. Be honest with yourself and with God because he knows who we are. But do we accept that who we are needs to change? Do we accept that what he's preparing us for, we aren't quite ready for? See, change happens when we accept we need it and we accept the correction of the almighty God. Today, we can hide everything behind closed doors. We can pretend and live a double life and get away with it. But as long as we're living a double life, we won't change and we won't grow. The light that God wants to shine on the inside can only peek out as slowly as slowly as we give ourselves to a dedicated and devoted life of truth. We will have sin and come shortcoming. We have and, and have shortcomings. It says in the word, we all have sin and come short of the glory of God. But mercy and grace will rescue us every time if we allow it. Allow God today to shine his light on you so you can submit to him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. We ask you to forgive us of the sins we have done. Lord, help us to live in the light and not in the darkness. Lord, help us to give up on living a double life. Right now, we give you everything. We give you every flaw, every hidden, hidden addiction, bitterness, r- hatred, rage, malice. We ask you to remove it and make us whole, Lord. We need you to bat. Ba- ba- we need you so badly. Sorry. We can't live life without you. Change us. Make us whole, Lord. We rebuke the spirit of fear, rebellion, perversion, and addiction in Jesus' name. Amen. Reference John 3, 36. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. John 3 and 36. First John 5, 22 through 23. And this is the testimony that God gives us eternal life, and this life is is his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son of God does not have life. John 1 and 4, in him was life, and the life was light of man. John 1 and 4, for the reading, Jeremiah 23, 21 through 25 and 38. 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 through 17. Psalms 84, 1 through 12. Proverbs 25 and 15. This ends shining so bright. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow. Remember to share with a family member or friend. And if you could, share on your social media. Be blessed. Thank you.